everyone, welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence and I give you thanks and I give you praise for this new day that you have given us. Thank you, Lord, that your mercies are new every morning. Thank you for your companion. Thank you for your communion. Thank you for your provision. Father, we are so grateful to you because your blessings for us never cease. Your love for us never ceases. Thank you, Lord, because we can have forgiveness of our sins. If we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us of our sins. So, Lord, I ask that if there is anything in my life that I have sinned against you, that you will forgive me. You will wash me white as snow. You will renew my heart, renew my spirit, Lord. Forgive me for the things that I have done against you or those that you love, Father. Thank you for the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you because we have forgiveness and redemption through him. Father, I once again I ask that you will be in this devotional. Help us to understand what it is that you have us to learn today. Help us to know how to apply it to our lives. Help your word fall on fertile ground, Lord. These things I ask in your son's name. Amen. Today's devotional was written by Antonio Corrales and translated by Nelson Berries. It is titled, Joshua, the Captain of Our Salvation. Our biblical base comes from Joshua chapter 1, verse 1 through 17. So says the word of God. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua the son of Nun, Moses' assistant, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, you and all this people, to the land which I am giving them, the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon I have given you, as I said to Moses, from the wilderness in this Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and to the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your territory. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life, as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and of good courage. For to this people you shall divide as an inheritance the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous, that you may observe to do according to the law which Moses my servant commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may prosper wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. But you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people, saying, Pass through the camp, and command the people, saying, Prepare provisions for yourself, for when, within three days you will cross over this Jordan to go in to possess the land which the Lord your God is giving you to possess. And to the Reubenites, the Gadites, and half the tribe of Manasseh, Joshua spoke, saying, Remember the word which Moses the servant of the Lord commanded you, saying, The Lord your God is giving you rest, and is giving you this land. Your wives, your little ones, and your livestock shall remain in the land which Moses gave you on this side of the Jordan. But you shall pass before your brethren armed, all your mighty men of valor, and help them, until the Lord has given your brethren rest, as he gave you, and they also have taken possession of the land which the Lord your God is giving them. Then you shall return to the land of your possession and enjoy it, which Moses the Lord's servant gave you on this side of the Jordan toward the sunrise. So they answered Joshua, saying, All that you command us we will do, and wherever you send us we will go, just as we heeded Moses in all things. So we will heed you, 
Only the Lord your God be with you as he was with Moses. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. Joshua was chosen by God to succeed the greatest of leaders that the people of Israel had. Truly, the task was not easy at all. But when God chooses, he trains as he did with Joshua. Through his leadership, the people were able to occupy the promised land. So Joshua became the captain who managed to defeat and expel Israel's enemies to bring peace after 400 years of slavery. The book of Joshua symbolically shows us the captain of our salvation, the Lord Jesus Christ, who through his perfect life and his sacrifice on the cross of Calvary has freed us from the slavery of sin and has conquered for us the promised land, the heavenly Jerusalem. Christ is our victory. Those of us who are represented in him through faith can now enjoy the privileges of God's covenant. It is only through our captain that we are more than conquerors because he has overcome sin and death. We too will one day rise incorruptible and triumphant to be with him forever. Amen. Of his terrible slick soul, he is to be marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah! Glory, glory, hallelujah!
what a beautiful song. And now we invite you to check out the YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading as we continue to journey through the Old Testament. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children now and forever. Amen.